With temperatures reaching record lows, homeless shelters like this one on Calhoun Street are being filled to capacity with people simply trying to stay warm. People like Clyde, who came to the shelter Monday night. It was cold enough to um, when nobody shouldn't have been out there. Everybody should have had some kind of shelter because it was too cold for anybody to be out there. I mean, early in the day it was like that. And Clyde is extremely grateful to the shelter for providing him with a warm bed. If it wasn't for this, I would have um, been out in that cold, trying to sleep on a blanket or find somewhere to stay. And, and once you get out there and do that, then you got officers, they're going to come and make you go to different spots. They tell you you can't stay there. You got to move every spot you move until you got to get up. And Pastor Carrie Grain, who is the director of the shelter, says there are hundreds more like Clyde who need help. There's even an area here just for women. These beds are all full, mo most of them, so it looks like we have one or two here. The shelter is technically classified as an emergency shelter because it's the last stop for people who can't be placed in other facilities. Women who have children must be placed in transitional housing for liability purposes, and there is an attempt to place veterans in the VA facility. Pastor Grain then moves on to the men's area of the shelter to show how it's getting close to being full. Well, this is the men's side and we have 150 beds on this men's side. Now if we could get the capacity we can put out cots and we can go up to 240. But we have um, right at 200 uh, you know, permanent beds. A bed that keeps men like Clyde from having to resort to his usual cold weather routine. I sleep on the street up on the three or four quilts and blankets and stuff like this. I used to sleep in front of different buildings and alleys and stuff like that. In Columbia, Stephanie Howling, Watch Fox News.